What's going on? I'm Pokewelder Zach, aka Mr. Zeto, and today I've got a special end of year video for you. This is probably one of the coolest sculptures I think that I have made yet, and it is Bike Chain Lugia. So if you've been following the series, you know that I've been doing bike chain builds for all of the starters this year, and one of my best friends, his favorite Pokemon was a Lugia, so for Christmas I decided to make him one. And uh, this is how it turned out, and honestly, I think it's pretty freaking awesome. So um, if you like Lugia, go ahead, drop a like on the video, subscribe for more stuff, and uh, let's get on to the build. Pokemon Special, Bike Chain Lugia. All right, starting off with just the basic sketch here. Um, I had thought that this was actually going to end up being a lot bigger than it actually was, uh, but you can kind of see where I outlined each of the different parts. Uh, so for Lugia's base design, I use a uh, large chain for the head, neck, body, and tail. Uh, and then I have a lot of other different right, parts set out real here part. for the uh, other I already have everything laid out here. No, uh, so starting in this, this upper around. corner, we have the wings, um, arms, start out with and the then head, the head has a four link for the eyepiece. Uh, and then tracing down uh, the body again. The main outline is a large single link. Over here, um, this was going to be the legs. Used the there legs, are going to be eight links with the, some two links uh, on either side to make up toes. the feet and toes. Uh, be adding on there. Uh, then the spikes are all these, these are sort of all staggered spikes that uh, end up two links here, here, which I think in the future I might and just simplify down to one link. The, the arms, uh, the wings are a series finally, of the descending of the body, sizes. The is body is an eight, six, and four. Actually, a ten, six, and four. Uh, and so those are each of the different components. So I'm going to quickly pack uh, all the different parts for the main body, uh, head, neck, uh, all just those joints, uh, since that is going to be the main thing that we build off. And then we will do the head piece as well, which is the uh, sort of diagonal looking four links. Uh, so that, since that's the easiest part, that's where we're going to start. Uh, tack each onto each side and then also add those spikes onto the tail. Um, the next part is going to be adding the 10 link pieces onto the body. Uh, I kind of messed around here, had to use another chain for some support. Um, but I figured out the design that I wanted, and I left a little bit of space down at the bottom, which is where the leg will fit in. So now I take the other tin link and I <clears throat> line it up on top of the one that I already welded, just so I can make sure that they have the same sh general shape and design, uh, since they're going to be on opposite sides of the body, try to make them as close as I can. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job there, and so now we are going to add them onto the body and start filling it out. Uh, when you break it down, Lugia is actually kind of a big boy. Um, he's a lot like rounder. His, his main body is a lot bigger than I initially thought it would be. Um, so to keep keep that roundness going, um, adding a six link that is you know not quite round. Uh, it's got a sort of flattish bottom on it, and that'll be the upper part of the torso. So you can already see it's starting to shape up there. Uh, then we will be finishing off the main part of the body with some three links uh, that'll just go right there on top of the six. And again, <clears throat> that finishes out the body and sort of closes up that, that larger gap that was initially left there. All right, so we got the body. Now it is time to add the legs. So I actually added an additional three link down here onto the body um, when I was initially designing the legs. I did not, uh, I thought that they would go in that gap, but it was just a little bit too much of a gap and then kind of made the legs skinnier. So I added the additional three link in there um, <clears throat> and then using these two eight links over here on the side, just kind of fidget them with them, with them long enough to uh, get the design I want. And again, I only tacked the top part of this. So you can see the bottom part is loose so I can continue shaping it up without that top part moving around. Once I got the design, I brought them back over to the side, uh, added those quick tacks, cleaned them up, uh, and then it'll now be time to um, add the additional toes, feet, onto it. Uh, I guess if they were just the toes, I could have done singles at the end, but um, since Lugia does have a sort of wider foot as well in those three major toes, um, I thought the single links did a pretty good job of filling that role for it. <clears throat> All 
got to tack the edges too, just so the ends of the feet don't move. So once those are done, we can now add it onto the body. Gonna do quick tack on the back. Um, and then I do a couple more securing welds as well. Uh, welds as well. I'm gonna have to figure out some phrasing for that. Now for the arms. This was by far the most difficult. Um, just figuring out the shape, how I wanted them to look. Uh, initially I was planning on doing them too wide since Lugia does have some pretty, I, I guess like the fingers look really wide, but once I actually started stacking them, uh, I realized that doing too wide would make those wings absolutely massive. Uh, so I started with the middle link since it was going to be the longest and then started shaping up the other links uh, on either side of it to uh, sort of match that and try to give it that wing slash finger look. Um, so basically this entire process here is a tack, uh, tack, grind, weld, repeat. <clears throat> So down there at the bottom, you can see those are going to be the front of the arm since they are going to have like a little bit of the smaller pieces. And then this is going to be the back of the wing here. Uh, so once all those five pieces are uh, outlined, not outlined, uh, welded, I take the other five links and I lay them on top. Uh, again, this is so that I can make sure that the uh, all the links have the same look to them. Yep, once those are all aligned, uh, just go quickly tack them all, clean them, and that is the finished product for the arms, wings. Uh, now I just gotta add them on, and size-wise, they actually do fit very well. Uh, so you can see down there at the bottom now, the uh, it has two sort of spots on the base. I ended up going with two instead of one, um, just so that I could have an additional tacking spot. And that's where I, now that I know that the design is how I want it, I can go through and I can add those securing welds um, to secure it in place. These are going to be the 10 back spikes. Uh, again, these, I think that this is a little bit closer to how they would look because they kind of fan out at the top. However, in future designs, for simplicity's sake, uh, I think that they would look just as good and be a lot easier to do if I left them as singles, which would be just those same things. But instead of uh, kind of fanning out, they would be, um, they would overlap. And then that would just give it a little bit of a cleaner design. So that's what Lugia looks like in its raw, uh, raw state. Oh, hey, just a reminder that I've got some cool stuff over on Patreon. Pokemon of the Month, future projects, old designs, all sorts of cool stuff like that. If you want to go check it out, you can find it in the description below. While you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe if you like this content. Helps out the channel a lot. With all that, let's get back to the build. All right, on to the paint now. So for the paint, uh, giving Lugia the white base, since that is the majority of his, uh, his color there, and then going back with a dark blue for the uh, fins on the back, and then this will also be used uh, for the head and for the additional tail spikes. Getting the uh, first layer, not too bad. Getting all the in-between stuff took a little bit more time, so that's why I did that little time skip there. Uh, again, that same dark blue is gonna be used for the tail spikes and for the sort of head fins as well. I'm not really sure what those are actually, now that I think about it. Um, Whatever the head, the additional head detail is, is that same dark blue. Uh, as for the stomach, it is a little bit of a lighter blue. So I took that, mixed in some whites uh, and a few additional types of blue too, just to give it that different color. Um, and then use that for painting the, the belly for Lugia. So that is now our final painted Lugia. However, because of his stands, he needs a base. So again, sticking with the bike, bike chain bike theme, uh, I had a couple additional gears as well. And so I stacked these overlapping them uh, to create the base for Lugia. Now my goal here was to try and uh, make it somewhere between the sky and waves as well. And so with some of the bigger gears, uh, I ended up cutting them in half to use these uh, additional pieces here to try and kind of create waves um, that would be, you know, you'll, you'll see it here in just a moment here, but these are all the different parts here. Uh, so now I have all of those, I sort of line them out and this creates 
both waves and a cage. Uh, again, it is pretty abstract, um, but I did want to kind of give them that cool uh, sort of cage look as well. Um, and again, I couldn't try to, I couldn't figure out quite whether I wanted to go with more of the Guardian of the Sky, Guardian of the Ski Sea. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Um, and once I add the paint, you'll get to see where it's a little bit of a combination in between. Um, because I wanted to add some more details, I took some of the smaller gears, did the same thing, cutting them in half, and then welding them on the in-between spots between some of these larger ones. Once those are all welded, I needed a spot for Lugia to actually stand. Uh, and again, sticking with the bike stuff, these are the, um, oh my gosh, I'm spacing on the words. Uh, the, the things that are the, the spokes, there we go. We got our bike spokes. Uh, and I basically tried to weave these together to get sort of a unique abstract look and then tacked it on between the back two uh, gears so that he would have a light spot to be held. As for the paint, started out with white, thinking more of the sky, and then added dark blue, trying to go more for the sea look, uh, added some lighter blue for some different texture and color, uh, and then ended up adding a little bit more white onto it to be sea foam, and decided to go more with that guardian of the sea type look. So uh, that is our final Lugia sculpture. Would love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments below. Thanks for sticking around for the end of year special. Hope you enjoyed watching Lugia come to life. If so, leave that like. Make sure to subscribe for more content. I've got tons more videos coming out. Uh, if you like this and you want to show some extra support, you can do so over on Patreon in the description below. And I will see you all in the new year. Happy end of 2022 and beginning of 2023. Signing off with a toe dial smile.